Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm doing a video, a weekend video update for everyone. Um, I know there's really nothing to report on since I did a video update yesterday, but I have been surfing the message boards um, tonight, of course, um, because I have no life other than going to work. I pretty much live on the message boards. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, my life will come back when I go back to school in a week, but until then, definitely living for days. <laughs> definitely. Um, I was just going to come on here and make a few points about spoilers and uh, speculation, what I think is going to happen, and we'll see what really does happen. Um, because I've been on the Naughty Eskimos message board, it's something I'm on all the time, and um, I, someone posted the NBC Weekly Preview for days, and I watched it, and it's got a great clip, you know, with Stefano and, and Marlena, and it's so scary, um, because you see him putting, injecting something into her IV line, and the power flickers, and it's like, suspense, and I just want to know what happens. Um, I was talking to my friend today, and I said, could somebody please just give me, like, all of the episodes for the next two weeks, because... Once I get back to school, I'm not going to be able to watch the episodes as frequently as I can when I'm on summer break. Because I work like 30 hours a week at the Arizona State Bookstore, and I go to class, and I do stuff. I work out, I swim, I lay out. Um, so I don't have as much time to sit on YouTube and send a message where you know what's going on. And I was just going to see if somebody could just hook me up with the episodes right now <laughs> and get it out of the way. Because um, the suspense is killing me and I don't know about anybody else but um I'm just so ready to see what happens especially with John and Marlena and the whole connection because um John I don't know I I look at the day ahead pictures uh that Bev posts and um I definitely saw Mondays and I definitely think that um John has feelings for Marlena so he just doesn't know how to express it Poor John. Let's let's give him a break, okay? Because, like, honestly, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And I think we just need to, like, give him a little push in the right direction towards Marlena, please. And, you know, everything will be good in our world uh, for John Marlena. Um, I'm also more than excited to see Deidre Hall act this out. She is phenomenal like absolutely incredibly phenomenal and I, I can't believe just how well she displays all of the emotions like you think that you're watching her as the character like, like you would I feel like I like separate Deidre Hall and Marlena Evans because like she portrays the character so well I don't know if that makes sense but she I don't know she's so good at delivering the emotion. She just is no holds barred on the emotion. Um, I know around the time of John's death, I've seen those clips. I wasn't a fan at the time. If I had been, I would have been really pissed off. Um, but I've seen the clips, and I just can't believe it. And I have to ask myself. The woman's been on Days of Our Lives for 30 years, and she's never won a daytime Emmy. And Susan Lucci has? Is this a joke? Like, what kind of sick joke is this? I mean, honestly, like, I know that Deidre doesn't have to have an award um, to know that her fans absolutely adore her and that she is simply one of the best actresses anywhere. You know, and I so totally wish she did movies or something because I can't get enough of that woman. I just, I adore her. She's amazing. She's not only an amazing actress, but she's an amazing woman. Like, she gives back to her fans. She she doesn't just take the praise. Like, she gives back because she knows how much her fans like her. And I think that's something that you can really admire. And it's something you can really appreciate. And, and be like, wow, this woman is amazing. And she's a good role model, too. And, you know, she's had some struggles in her personal life. Who hasn't? Honestly. I mean... I'm 19 and I've already had like tons of stuff happen that you know I regret but you know for the most part you move past it and you like work on building your life and it just 
amazes me the kind of woman that she is. And it amazes me that I've gone 19 years without knowing who the woman was. <laughs> I've been missing out for so long. Um, but I'm, I'm on the bandwagon now, so it's good. Um, but she's phenomenal, and I want to meet her. <laughs> and I just want to be like, wow, you're freaking awesome. Um, so back to days, uh, I'm just going to like wrap this up because it's a lot longer than I intended, but once I start talking, it's like a bad thing. Just like, don't let me talk. Um, I am excited to see Stefano in all of his glory as much as I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Stefano. Like, you know he's going to cause problems. You hear his name, you associate with problems, like for sure. But... And as much as I don't want him to hurt Marlena, because Marlena is my favorite character, it's going to make for some good television, and it's going to make for some good drama. And um, all I can see from the weekly previews is I hope John comes to the rescue, because I can't I can't see anything happen to Marlena. I'm so worried about it. <laughs> it's like it's almost like it's happening to Deidre, and I know it's not. It's just like, oh my goodness. I don't want anything to happen. I want I want everybody to be okay and for Stefano to be defeated again. Even though I love it when he's on, you know, but <laughs> I'm just like I'm so nervous. Um so hopefully it it ends well for our favorites. Um I also need to see more EJ on my screen. Clearly because he is gorgeous and I want him for Christmas. <laughs> I kind of have a thing for British accents too, so, you know, I'm probably going to talk about EJ in every video blog. Just warning you, if you don't like him, don't watch the blog. He's too pretty to not talk about, so there you have it. Um, Alright kids, it is 1230 in the morning, I'm going to sleep, I've been doing a good job of waking up early in the morning and actually doing something productive, and I have so much going on right now with packing and whatnot, so I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to sleep a lot, and get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Um, my next video blog will probably be Monday night after Monday's episode, and there will most certainly be a lot to discuss. So until then, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. I'm having fun doing them, so, um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!